Howdy folks, welcome back to the Ox Parker of the show series here in MLB 22 PS5, episode 7. Oh god, man, I, I've lost track. We're in, we're near 7.30, I don't know if we're there yet. Um, I think actually this is 7.30, if I'm not mistaken. Alex broke 300 on the average in the last one. Now the challenge is keeping it there. It's been a rough, not a rough season, but it, it hasn't been his best. And that's why. It's just been a lot of that. But let's not get in a bad, bad head space already. Let's just have some fun here today. Win some games. Hit the ball well. This game is meant to be fun. We're having fun. <laughs> Speaking of fun, though. There's obviously this series you can watch. There's the Taylor Brooks series also on the channel. That's the pitcher we did on MLB 23. We are doing on MLB 23. Then there's Dragon's Dogma 2. There's Final Fantasy 7 Remake. There's Nobody Saves the World. All of the stuff going on on the channel right now. A lot of video games being played. If you're interested in any of that. The next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. The Brewers hitless so far in the game. That is going to be a hit. Parker finds right field, and he will stay above 300 for the time being. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Back over to first. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Now it's gonna be Wood. Yeah. Alex tacks on another bag. Is he gonna get to a thousand? I would have to imagine he's gonna get to a thousand. Yeah, we're at 968 now. Nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order to play. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base. Oh my gosh! That ball's absolutely massacred! Oh my heavens! <laughs> Robbie Wood continues his tear. Goodness gracious. We have had a string of four hole hitters in our career that have hit behind Alex. But, ah, shoot. This season by Robbie Wood is up there with the best of them. He has just hit the ball so well. Other good ones have been uh, Mike Trout's hit some there. I mean, that was obviously great when Mike hit four. Also, the times where Jared Walsh was hitting four was great. Talk to oh, Tatis. Tatis always knew how to hit us in. Well, they blew it, so we're going to have to find a way to score, to score again here. Tatis is great. Riley Green wasn't always there for, but he was good. And the year we got to play with him, Doug Sato was also good. We pop out for no reason. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Morris Shelley. Out to short, Parker handles. Sends it to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, we do take a big lead, and we get three more. So we've got a clear job here, and that's to get in that last one with a fly ball probably. And he just misses. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Got a foul ball. Tried to flip the direction there. Jackowitz on third. Smith at first. One gone. And it's 
fouled away. Mm. Now we're just trying to hit the ball. Don't strike out here is the goal. Left hand batter waits. Well, we might walk. Didn't consider that as a possibility. Nope. Parker's gonna get a hit. So it's seven to three. Alex comes through. And the Brewers lead it seven to three. <laughs> we lead by four now. First and second, one out. The batter down, Robbie Wood. He's already homered in this game. Next offering. Robbie's got an absurd amount of RBIs on the year already. Looking to tack on another one here. He's up to 64 RBIs. Goodness. It's not often someone beats Alex in RBIs on his team. It is much rare that someone's beating him by 20 in the middle of the season. <laughs> Before the halfway mark. That is going to be popped up. I'm going to take second. I think I can do it. Well, we're not even trying for third, so I'm just going to drop off and come back. Fabio's also got a lot of RBIs this year. Well, 38 of them. He's closer to Alex than he needs to be. Alex, it's a combination of Robbie absolutely crushing the ball and Alex not hitting as many as he normally does. And the Brewers blow up here in the ninth, and we are leading by five now. And that's pop and that foul. foul. Kicks and deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Come on, Bry guy. Oh, get out of here, ball. <laughs> get out of play. Ah, he didn't get there. Nice. Good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. All right. We're just extending this game. This game's like forcing me basically now to call this a four-game episode before we even get it past the first game. Shark mount, finally. I shouldn't say that. I wish you would have got a hit, but so here's Brown at the plate. now we got to play in the field. The left fielder, number 34, and a pitch. This is going to be a double play ball tough one. We're only going to get one. And he'll be safe at first. I'm about tired of you, McAtee. And our final here today. So we do win this one. And uh, come out on top. Good start to the episode, I guess. Let's go win a couple more today. What do you say? Versus the division leading Cubs, who are 40 and 33. It'd be nice to get a couple wins against them, you know, win the series here or something. Next for Milwaukee, Alex Parker. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Oh. Thought we might have it down the line, but no. Well, Tim Gaspar has been not good this year. He's been either pretty very on eh, or very off. He gives up one early, but we get it right back. We do lead the Brewers in hits still. Is that not getting out? Get going, ball. No, of course it's not. A perfect, perfect fly out. And now I want to cry. 
We do get a couple Parker. home, but ah, that hurts. Well, looking for our one homer per episode here. Not, we don't have to get it here. I'm just saying. We need to get it before the episode's done. That one felt like it was going to be it, but no. In recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently. Send. You see the results. Parker checks his swing. Five balls in the zone anyway. No swing, says Jerry Hills. Taking all that. Real down. And ball. This inside. So. Alex will take his bag. Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Here comes the new arm for the Cubs, Alfonso Cruz. That is into right, and it's bases loaded now with no outs. Rick Garrett is who we entrust in this spot, apparently. Rick comes through. With no outs, we're just going to take a big rounding, and we'll stay right here. It's 4-1. Good job, Rick. Talk about station to station. There's five straight one-baggers. He could bust this game wide open. They need a strikeout. You need a ball, perhaps on the ground for a double play, or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle Fell and off. get through this, he can earn some points. Bases loaded, nobody out. One, two, to Brian Birch. Foul ball. And we will do it again. That is going to be a double play. No, it is not. He overthrew him. Come on, home, Robbie. Makes it six to one. Good job, guys. Alex Parker is absurd. Gold glove. Ten times over. What a play in the field. Just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Get out, ball. Keep going. Keep going. Holy cow. Who is the center fielder for the Cubs? He's robbed us twice of a hit. Who are you? Okay. <laughs> That makes a little more sense. 94 fielding. The dude's got a glove on him. Well, we are at least going to grab a hit. And you, you know what? I'm going to test you. Shoot. <laughs> I shouldn't have tested him. <laughs> You're going to be out here. You're going to hit, though. So he gets the best of us three times today. But the Brewers get the best of the Cubs, so it's all fine. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Just a cookie down the middle. We give up a couple, and we're going to call in Raul to just wrap this one up, I believe. One for three. The pitch. Raul does just that. We will win this one 6 3. Picks it up. Throw to first, ball game, and the Brewers take game one of the series on the road. 6-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. Now it's the shortstop, Alex Parker. No, dude. 
I, I just swung at a pitch I shouldn't have swung at. I'm an idiot. That's all. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the center field. We do lead it already, though. We're going to try to get a good Lawrence Riley start. Level impossible. Good play. Does McAtee even have a secondary at first base? Or do we just stick him there? Yeah, he does. He sucks in the field. I hate this guy sometimes. He's made six airs already this year. Just trying to hit that home run, man. Two away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign. So two away with nobody on. The batter will be the shortstop, Alex Parker. No stop. Bring it just misses. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpire and crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And crown. the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. And that Pop one it up. The air center field. Dang, man. The play and that's out number three. Not getting the Bruins good go down karma. No, I'm not getting the good luck. To the bottom of the fifth. Here's a speed threat. Alex Gomez. For the Cubs. No left field. Bounced down to short. Parker picks it up, whips it across, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Oh, he's doing a nice job. So up next, Alex. Go for three today. A guy who makes an impact. In jeopardy of dropping below below 300 if we can't. Oh. All right, you got to get an RBI here at least. Never mind. We get locked. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Robbie Wood. Next pitch is outside. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Luis Padilla, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Griffin getting loose as well. Swung on, belted. Robbie just comes through, bro. Ah, it's not going to get out, but it is going to make this 6-1. to one. Guess what? Robbie adds another RBI. He's up to 66. But maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Two on, two outs. Gapper, let's go. It's going to roll all the way to the wall, and Rick Garrett's going to come through for a two RBI double. He scores as well, and they're pulling oh away up by seven now. Gets the job done as he brings home. And next for the Cubs, Wayne Cruz for the fourth time tonight. On the ground, left side, six, four. That's a six, four, three. And the inning is over. Back here at Wrigley Field, all set to start the ninth in this one. Up now for Milwaukee, Alex Parker. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0 misses low. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. And Parker is going to add a hit just so he can. Base hit right there. Off to just a so he can get. Just so that hitting streak continued. Hits against a firm front side. And Not going. Seven run game. I've seen it happen before where we lose these, but not today. We're not going to do it, right? Right, guys? Now, here is Robbie Wood. Next offering is fouled back. Come on, big guy, one time. Here we here's go. the pitch. Runner goes. Now, fly ball to right center. Cruise. Robbie's hitting the ball a long way. Falls 
it in for the out. It's not going to quite fall, but. Rick Garrett digs in now. The right fielder. Rick Garrett. Downstairs. We got this game taking ages. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, boo. Next for the Brewers, Evan Lyon. I'm not He's going, dude. It's a seven round game, I promise. Just get your last two outs. Parker at second. Garrett will refer, so one away. Bounce to the right, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Dude, stop it. And a ball in two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. That's up crazy. the middle. Coming home. Now a long throw home. We will score. And it's an and eight Evan Lyon will even drive one well in. Done. Drives in the run. Base is empty one. Well, Lawrence Riley's had himself a day. Finishes this one off. Only giving up one. Looking for the complete game shutout with one more out. And they're down to their last out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. 9-1 is how it ends. Here's the shortstop at the play. Right, Benny Suzuki. And the first pitch misses for ball one. These two guys, a lot of respect for one another. That's bad swing by me. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next offering misses. Got a chance for a 4-0 episode. That'd be nice. Looks like it's going to be a strike, and then it just runs in. It also pulls us over 500. You can command it, and hitters have to respect it. Just keep going in there until they make you make an adjustment. That's it well, but this center fielder is about to drive me insane. It's off the wall out there. He's not getting to that one. Woo! Into second, and he's got a double. And it's scoring position with two away. Here's the catcher, Robbie Wood. On the ground, right side. That throw. Yeah, I called it again. I'm willing these things into existence. Come on, one nothing Brewers. And it's three nothing now. Did we hit the other ones in the first? That's another deep one, but that's going to be caught at the wall. I'm about tired of it. Did we score all of them in the first? Oh my gosh, we did. That is so unfortunate for this pitcher. Ah. One down, base is empty. I got a ball, one strike. Oh, I suck. One and two. Here's a one-two. That's a ball. Hey, see it up. Drive it the other way. Let's go, big dog. Good eye right there. No, dude. No, dude. No way. Both have been crushed. Man at first with one gone. Next for Milwaukee. It was a day we used to crush Benny Suzuki. That, one's in there. Oh, that is the hardest pitch to hit right there. Strike one to get ahead. Only good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And now it's even up. And they're fly, they're fly. Left hand hitter waits. And strike two. It's a good pitch, man. Lion leads off first with one away. There's it again. In the dirt, but kept close. Well done behind the dish. Pitching's been really good today. And the 
pitch. This whole episode, we've got a really good pitching. Still trying to get that last homer, or that one homer on the episode. It is not going to happen, but Porker's got a two-hit day. So hit number 90 in the year for Parker. Right-handed reliever. That's Volker. Runners at first and second with one gone. And that'll that load the bases. Robbie is going to walk. Here's Cuevas. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Cuevas got into one. Carrying. Caught. We will get the third. A run scores, and Cuevas does do his job there, honestly. 5 nothing is nothing to scoff at. That is a good lead. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if you can get this next out. Brady McGowan on the pitch out of the pen here. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And here it comes. High fly ball down the left field. That ain't going anywhere. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Let's wrap it up. Emmanuel Cortez, the starter for today, has been great as well. So this is back to back. One for three. Just absolute great starts. To first, might be two. to second, now to first, and it's That'll about do it. It is a five nothing not final. Not yet. The next cup to hit. Ground played by Parker, firing to first. Got him. That will do it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB Beautiful. The Show, I'm John It's Sean. a good win for us, and uh, we are up three nothing in that series against the uh, or against the Cubs. What am I saying? Um, which I, I'm happy with. So, Dubs, Dubs, Dubs. We uh, are a game and a half back on the Cubs now. So if we win the net. We've won six in a row, by the way. Randomly, we sucked before that, but hey. Six in a row, six in a row. And we are trying to end the month. The back half of June has been good to us so far. So one more against the Cubs and the Pirates in the next one. Uh, and I will see y'all them. Parker getting better and better by the day. Staying hot. Hitting an 876 OPS. Great in the field. Don't forget our boy Robbie Wood. Playing out of his freaking mind right now. Let's go. Not to mention the pitching today was killer. Lawrence Riley, a great start. Emmanuel Cortez, an even better start. We've even got guys like James Hayashi who could get better. We haven't had that in forever. Lawrence Riley's going to get better. I haven't looked at the potential yet because, I mean, we're kind of at the point where potential doesn't matter. We only have two seasons after this one, so this guy could be good. If we call him up. Keith Smith could get better. I actually like Keith. He's he's not very good, but I do like him somewhat. I like how aggressive he is when he steals bases. Fabio Zavala is good. Yeah, Alex is going to be here, obviously. Uh, Joe Jackowitz, we're still waiting for his development. The dude just doesn't develop for some reason. Might be a late bloomer. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. Are we in... How close are we to... You know, I keep checking this, but... First off, we're going to we're gonna get back into this batting title look. Um, gold glove shortstop is ours right now. Harold James, former teammate, is 
behind us. And then, first off, Robbie's going to win Silver Slugger Catcher. Second, we're second trying to get a, out in front of Richard Clements, but he's having such a good year, man. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's for me. That's Alex Parker, episode 730 in the books.